YouTube. Welcome to another video with Fishing with Tito. Uh, we're going to try out this one more spot. My wife insisted that I come over here and make another video today. Because today is Sunday. So let's go over here and try out this pond that I never um, fished before. Right here, we're going across this dock. Come on, take a walk with me. Oh, see some water. Gonna try out this pond before. Let's see if we got a let's see if we got a good spot. That was a bunch of birds took off. Oh yeah, that's nice here. Never fished in here before. So we're gonna try it out over here. Don't run birdie birdie birdies. Oh yeah, this is like a nice cool spot. The sun. Oh, the sun, let me see. Oh, okay. That's not a glare. There's a paintball course over in the background too. I've never been over there before, but I always wanted to see, say, uh, check this pond out. Cause I pass by down there every day on my deliveries. Sometime when I come out here, I have to deliver. So give me a second, let me bait up. Yes, and those Ozark trail hooks at Walmart, I don't know if I had got a bad pack or what, but like as soon as I put them on my uh, on my uh, fishing pole and I threw out in the water and was reeling it back in with a brim, the hook just snapped. So I was like, how did that fish get off? So I looked at my thing and it was broke off right there at the eye. So I don't know if they, something, I don't know if that was a bad pack or what. So this will be another spot I will be checking out to come fish in. Let me twist you guys around so you can get a better view. It's a big, nice size. I don't know how many acres of pond it is, but it is a nice size. We'll be coming back to try it out. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but they are uh, shooting the paintball guns over there. Like I said, it, we are close to a paintball course. Give me one second, you guys. I want to show you guys something. Look, guys, if you're going to come fishing, that's why most people don't like us fishing on their property because a lot of people do all this littering. Look, right here. There's liquor bottles, uh, uh, worm buckets, the worms, they put your thing. I see uh, spot books, coffee mug, I mean, coffee with the, the uh, whatever you call it, iced coffee, beer cans. Guys, please keep up your trash. Pick up your trash. Water bottles, beer cans over here. Mm. I know there's one good uh, spot I can go fish here, but a lot of people be saying, hey, when you go back over there, uh, can I go? I can't take you on everybody's property because, you know what I mean? If I go over there and then I take you over there and then 
Somebody else, uh, you might take somebody else over there. It might be he might give you the okay to come back over there and fish. You take somebody over there, that'll mess it up for everybody. So like I said, we will be uh I will be coming over here bringing you guys back with me when I come over here and try this awesome spot right here because this is an awesome spot. Just cleaned off over here, as you guys can see. And then somebody left a beer can, Bud Light. See what I'm saying? You don't mess it up for everybody. I can come over here and throw out about four or five holes. And then while I'm doing it, I can be bass fishing at there. Oh, I see. You can see the guys over there. I don't know if you guys can see. Way back over there with those white things that in the corner. I do see the, the guys out there uh, paintball course. I might go do that one day. Check into that and see if you have to bring your own paintball, paintball equipment or can you rent over there. But like I said, I never fished in here, but you can see this when you go past the, when you're going down the street, you can actually see this. And all this connected is connected to the park. So you can't fish over here. You know what I mean? This ain't private property. Like I said in that recent video I had did um, where I said the no fishing sign was in the uh, water. Some of you guys didn't actually read the comments, okay? The pond that I was fishing in, the little pond that I was fishing in, they are taking it and making it into a park. The government bought it from the, the landowner. So there's going to be a park. When I said in the video, I said, and I was looking through the trees, and they was taking a, uh, a canopy down. They had just that day they had turned over the the uh, the, uh, the dirt over there as they do with the shovel breaking new ground, and that's what I was basically telling everybody. That's that's the, I talked to the police over there. So it's basically going to be turned into a park. They're going to leave that pond over there. He said they're going to make the pond the plans is because he was over there when they had the ceremony. They're going to make the park even that pond even bigger over there. So you know, some people don't know what they're talking about. Oh, you don't supposed to. Do uh, go on private property when you see a no fishing sign. He sold a, he sold the pond, the land to the government. They brought it. You know what I mean? They brought it and they're going to turn it into a park, a public park with ponds in it. He said, actually, they're going to dig even more ponds over there and stock them up. So there you go. For the people saying that I've trespassed on, on private property, it is not private property. They put the uh, they had already put the barbed wire fence up because there was some new houses they built over there. So to keep that off the uh, the property over there, they they put that barbed wire because they're gonna be public uh, public property over there. So that's why they was taking down the canopy. So they was actually taking down the canopy, you guys, for they gonna make it uh, a park over there. They just had the ceremony for the people that was talking. It was only a few of them that didn't know what they was talking about. I would never trespass on private property because I, I want to buy some property in the future and I wouldn't want nobody trespassing on my property. So Google Maps will tell you, you know, um, if you go over there and you see no trespassing, so I would never do that because I wouldn't want to get in trouble by the authorities and I definitely wouldn't want nobody um, trespassing on my property. So I see some guy, you guys. Let's go check it out. Walking up this trail right here. So you guys, that bridge that I was walking over and that stream of water I told you I saw, that's what keep this lake fed right here. So I wonder, is that a spring of water somewhere? Because it's coming out of a, a pipe over there and it's feeding right along in here. This was keep that, keep it filled up. And someone has been fishing over here because their line got tangled in the tree. Exploring new properties. And here go a good shot of it. You can actually walk all around this thing. Also, I see a car parked over there. So you guys, now that you know, someone was fishing with catfish 
uh, the stuff you buy at Walmart. Look. So it's some catfish in here too. So I'm just coming trying out spots, you guys, trying to find out, find new spots where I can fish to bring you guys some awesome content. I'm trying to hold the camera up like this right here because it is a lot of weeds you have to walk through this kitchen, catching my holding my tripod. But like I said, you guys, you know what I mean? I would never, and I wouldn't advise you guys to trespass on nobody's uh, property just to bring awesome content either. So I'm going to bring the reel over here and throw her out over here to see what I can get. If I had a garbage bag, I would get up some a lot of this trash that's over here. So I can keep it clean for the next person so they can bring the next person out here to fish. You know what I mean? So where we can have somewhere in public to fish here. Because in a minute, they keep on throwing all this trash. We ain't going to have nowhere for no one to fish. So I'm going to look in the car when I get ready to leave. I'm going to see if I got a trash bag so I can get up some of this, a lot of this trash. They have McDonald's cups, straws, everything down here. I just want to kind of keep it for the next person. You know, and for our, uh, to have our young people that love fishing and love making YouTube videos, I would like to have them somewhere to fish it. I feel like it's an awesome spot over there to fish too. And I found, also found somewhere where I can get some skipjack from. I know it's not the fresh when you catch it. It's, it's not as fresh as when you get it out the uh, water. You catch it yourself. But uh, it's a bait shop that I know uh, that I be going to. They got skipjack. How much is skipjack at y'all bait shop? If some of you guys go to the bait shop, how much is skipjack is? I'm trying to get a price. Because uh, I think he had for a large, I think for a two-pack of skipjack, he had it for 16 and for a small he had it for uh, two small skipjacks. He had it for $13. So let me know down in the comments, guys, how much the skipjack at y'all bait shops. Yeah. I don't know, if, you know, in our bodies of water that's local around here, I don't know if we have skipjack. Might do. I just never caught one before. And I'm just trying to get a, a price on, you know, what's the what's y'all prices in y'all area for, for skipjack. You know they're good catfish bait. So when I go do go to the bait shop, I'm gonna give me a pack of skipjack. You know what I mean? Cut it up and use it for catfish bait. Since I like catfishing all the time. I know this is gonna be a talking video, but like I said, I, I just came over here to try this out. My wife wanted me to, she thought about it. Hey, you know, you always want to say you want to uh try that that pond out every time we pass it. So I just stopped here and wanted to show you guys this new pond. The song is blaring from that way so that's why i had to turn you guys this way right here because i i didn't know if you guys could really just see me or not I haven't got a bite yet but i know it's fish off in here but I, I see all this evidence down here on the ground trash and catfish uh bags and mountain dew cans so i know there's a lot of fishing been done over here Let me also ask you guys, I got a 2015 Chevy Malibu, and uh, I was letting my wife drive it, and uh, she called me one day, I was I was just getting off of work, and she was telling me, said, uh, 
come home when you get when you get time and check your car out. But anyways, if if some of you guys are familiar with the uh, it's a front wheel drive transmission. If some of you guys are familiar with Chevy Malibu's, but anyway, um, on front of the uh transmission pan with the oil see that they have a, a computer sitting right there to tell the uh, it's a six speed transmission, and it's a plug sitting inside the uh, transmission plan right there, hooked up to the computer. But anyway, around that plug right there, the wires go in there and the plug plug you can unplug it and plug it up. Right around there, it uh started leaking transmission fluid real bad. So I went about the uh part, put the part on there, cause that's what they said it was, cause the transmission place was trying to charge me forty eight hundred dollars just to replace that. So I got that put back in there for cheaper than that. It, it stopped. Now it started back doing it again. Oh yeah, there's some fish in here. I just seen a, a brim or something jump right there. But anyways, um. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm not paying no $4,800 just to get no transmission, you know, put back in there. Because it's, it's it's still drivable, you know, as long as you put transmission fluid in there. But it take uh, the DEF-6 transmission fluid. And that's like $10 a quart. And the, the one gallon, I can get it from Walmart for like $32. But you're going over riders, vans, or whatever, it's $34 a, a, a gallon. And I'm talking about as long as you letting it sit there and drive, you know, just sit there and run, it won't leak out. But as soon as you start driving, transmission fluid be blowing back everywhere. So I didn't want it to uh, mess up the driveway anymore because I did pressure wash it, the driveway. So I just sit it in front of the house. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to end up uh, selling it as is. Letting everybody know, you know what I mean? It is the transmission is leaking. Maybe they know someone who got a transmission. Because I tried to find that transmission. No one had it in my area. So, and like I said, the car is in excellent condition. Nothing wrong with the car. Motor runs, A1. So, the guy that cuts my hair, he wants to buy it. But like I said, enough about that car. So, guys, I'm going to call this a video. I know this was a video just me rambling off at the mouth. But thanks for watching, watching Fishing with Tito. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.